shit. Granddad! Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of the uh, continuation of... Uh, what do you call it? What the hell do you call it? The Haunted PlayStation 1 collection, yeah. So, my favorite so far in this collection has been Sauna 2000. Also... I guess the, the cat game was pretty good. <laughs> Even though I didn't, like, super interested, interested, interesting, interesting to me. Took three tries to say that. My god. Uh, my least favorite so far has been the, uh, the Killer Bee game. And, uh, what else did I play that was like, uh... I think that was it, right? Killer Bees. Tasty Ramen! Tasty Ramen! That was a good game, but it felt really off. Because it was played really, like, straight, and it was just like a Kirby game. Like, it wasn't really, uh... What do you, what do you call it? Scary? I mean, it was... Kind of goofy, but... Hey, whatever. Yeah, the there was a Quake clone, too, that was kind of like, bah. Well, regardless, we're gonna be resuming this collection now. Let's see, uh, see where it goes. Yeah, you just missed it, Epic. All right, let's see here. Uh, uh, let, let me see here. Let me see here. <laughs> where did I put it? Oh, please tell me. Oh, there it is. Demo disc. You uh, now I have two motors, so th this will be less painful, you know. So that's isn't that awesome, <laughs> you know? All right, so let me just put it on the other screen. All right, now we're kicking ass. So we have Insomnio, O to a Moon, Effigy was the Quake clone, I believe. Yes. Dead Delusion, haven't played that yet, Until until Big Light, Fate and Betula, Sauna 2000, so far it's been the best. Place Forbidden, Filth Breed, haven't played that either. Uh, really haven't played that many so far, but let's, uh, let's uh, play... Recommendations, guys. Uh, any suggestions? Any, uh, any particularly good ones you would recommend me? A Place Forbidden, is that a good one? Give it a try, I suppose. Well, it looks good. The Library of Ouroboros! <laughs> the Library of Ouroboros and its vast store of occult knowledge is finally within your reach. In the end, it was almost too easy to find. Welcome. Okay, well... Well, well, well. So if I can quickly go into, uh... Well, the game is called Ouroboros, uh, in the, uh, you know, EXE. But the actual game is called A Place Forbidden, alright? Let's see if I can... Hey, th this take me is completely out of it! No place in one game would have this! Ah, whatever. Let me just... Even though I'm using two monitors, it's still nicer for me to, like, you know... Alright. Check it out. Set my PS1 into window mode. The library of Ouroboros. I'm finally here. It's almost anticlimactic. It stands so easily within its walls. The rumors are true. The library contains knowledge beyond anything one might hope to find on Earth. Uh oh. Words of power, occult learnings, and after the sudden death, it will be mine. All of it. I just know where to look. That is the Ouroboros. <laughs> Books of philosophy, history, and a few stray encyclopedias. Alright. A transcript. I've been having these nightmares. Doctor! <laughs> I'm alone, but I feel alone. Not like I should. Rather, there's no one with me. But there's not one say there's nothing around. It's difficult to explain. There's an uncomfortable feeling. Something drones low in the background all the while. I can hear snatches of whispers, but only just barely, 
like something is conversing with me just out of my range of hearing. This is something is watching just out of my sight range. Everything's too still. It's wrong. Uh oh, it's gonna be a lot of reading here. I don't remember how I got there, and I can't figure out how to leave it. Everything is all hallways upon hallways, shelves of books that look like they've never been opened. Almost all of them are still, yet I got a feeling like I mustn't open any of them. Is that how you said it? Mustn't? Uh, whatever I do, there's a pull towards them. Of course, the sense that I would learn more than I could ever hope to unearth them. But there's a danger, a vague creeping danger. The feeling that something is very, very interested in every move I make. Who or, what it might, who, who or what it might be, I just got an image in my head, I'll tell you about it. I don't know. I don't know if it wants to bring me in, or if it wants me to leave. How does it end? Well, as I mentioned, there's no real way to escape. Every place I go to leads to more rooms. But eventually, after a time, I, I, I don't really hear them so much as I feel them. Look no further, look no further, look no further. And then I wake, and every time I feel farther from this world, to be honest, Doctor, I hope it's all in my imagination. I hope I'm afflicted with some kind of mania. So this is very Lovecraftian. Because a place like this can exist, shouldn't exist, and if it does, then I can only hope that no one else would be so unfortunate to visit it. <sighs> Alright, well, <clears throat> I, just got a I just got an idea that this is just a Scooby-Doo mystery, and I'm just gonna watch like the painting have eyes going like, whoop, whoop. And it's gonna, like, destroy the atmosphere. Like, watch this game have some sort of, like, ha-ha to it. Oh, God. How much are we reading? Well, I was not in the mood to read tonight. I was ready to shoot tonight, but all right. A partial history of the library. The library where Boris wasn't so much built as it simply came to be. That must have been... That... That much we've been able to glean from the early murky tales about a short and endless structure rich in occult knowledge. The first tale was penned by an unnamed Gaelic mystic, who compiled a various, a very, very variety of accounts from the travelers' compl complaint of strange dreams. Many of these travelers' accounts, the place were the same. Endless hallways of strange materials, magic devices that seemed to give off light or sounds without any visible source. But rarely were there any, any tangible details, aside from these characteristics and the front of, and the fun of knowledge ringing these walls of, of, of the place. This, of course, changed in approximately 6070 when the mystic was visited by a lone woman she was reportedly wild-eyed half mad and complaining of dreams much the same as her fellows but she claimed that these dreams became reality briefly and that she at one point even visited the bleak place she claimed to run into a dark amorphous figure with a score of glowing red eyes this figure apparently spoke to her promising her her black knowledge should she only pledge herself to it though the mystic asked how this woman escaped such a place the woman gave him no explanation in fact she spoke no further withdrawing from the mystic's hut to begin her traversing anew she was never seen or heard from again the testimony is hardly a concrete example of the library's existence but it certainly makes one wonder if tales like this could exist from the earliest days of modern man, what truth could lie and burn deep in the past should one be willing to tunnel through cobwebs of years to reach her blah 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 blah? This is the game you recommended to me? I mean, I, I don't want to say, but... Alright. Door is immobile. All right. I, I, I got nothing bad about the game. I was not in the mood for a, like a read session tonight, because I, I just woke up, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. You're going to die. <gasps> My God. Someone got it in chat. Nosferatu. A few of y'all stand on the math and physics, uh, but I'm one of the most scared words with science. Interesting. The section contains mostly horror novels. How drool. Novel, science fiction, and fantasy. How funny would that be? You read a horror book inside of a horror game, and it turns out the horror book is scarier than the actual thing. The Menace's Doom. Bernice enters, followed closely by the librarian. Bernice is breathless, looking both exasperated and slightly excited. The librarian's expression is unreadable, as per usual. 
bunnies. But my husband will find out about us. He won't stay out forever. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear, but... Sorry, the only way I can get through this, this dialogue is to, like, put on a voice, because it's boring. Alright. Alright. Let's just, let's just, let's just see. Let's just see what else we have here. On the founder. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This might actually be something that clues me in on what's going on here. So I'm guessing there's some, some sort of Lovecraftian thing going on right now. You know, the, the, this library is occult and all that. Uh, Stones of Ur. They came to the domain. A black canvas on the cosmos from places unknown and old in time. All this reading is not necessary to beat the game, by the way. Oh, really? Okay. Then all this place. Telephone! What? Telephone! Okay. Let me guess. One of these... One of these books... Is required to be read so I can open up something. Hmm. Almanacs. Useless. Well, you tell that to uh, Marty McFly. Hmm. Maybe I can just... Damn! Well, should I leave? I've only just <laughs> arrived. Well, you can't tell me what to do. You are me. I make the decisions here. I, I call the shots. <laughs> Don't argue with me. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, maybe I can just read this one. Well, I did read that one. Hmm. Nothing so far. Surely there must be something behind this this shelf, but can I move something perhaps? There was something about telephone. How about that's a clue on where to go? Let's find out. Hmm. Hello, this is Pizza Hut. Oh, what's this? Welcome message from our staff. Welcome. We're glad you're here. As we're pretty, we're sure you're aware, the Library of Wars is located in a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of S Sussex. I know how to say it, but whatever. Uh, many rural townships, obviously bereft of their own libraries, refer to their village villages to the library. It is beloved by all. We'll hope you'll take your time pursuing our vast stores of literature, non-fiction, fiction, occult knowledge, cursed knowledge, words to melt the eyes of anyone who reads them, psalms of murder and otherwise. You'll certainly have time enough, Bernard. You'll certainly have time enough. Whoa. Uh-oh. Book mentioned my name. A coincidence. Nothing more. Besides, I was mistaken. The library wasn't in England. I fought in the German city of Ulburg, sequestered away beneath, behind an ancient church. Such a small, unassuming front, as if by looking so plain and by hide from the rest of the world. Okay. Uh. Oh. Yo, watch, watch this just turn into a, a giant pig man with an axe going, <laughs> chasing me with, do 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 like, I just know it's gonna tur turn into this. Like this, this atmosphere is just gonna be ooh, ba -ba 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 -ba, you know. See, piggy, come here, pig. You're gonna have a reader, aren't you, Bernard? You can't read these books, but don't fret; they'll pave your way to new knowledge. If you're stuck, think of yourself like a cataloger. Or a librarian. That has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The case towards the window seems as a good place to any store, too. Oh, yeah? Oh. No? Okay. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta try. You gotta try sometimes. No fuck outside earlier. 
You know, the lack of anything right now is kind of spooky, you know? Locked as well, damn. You know. Very quiet. I like that. I don't know why, but I'm getting like mist vibes, but that's not necessarily the kind of game we're playing right now. It just got that isolating feel to it. The case towards the window seems a good place. The case to towards the window. I just realized what a terrifying game this could be. Is that my footsteps? Hear me out. A puzzle game where you have to read a lot and go through a lot of dialogue, or, sorry, written stuff. And there's a hidden time limit in the game. So in the middle of you reading shit, suddenly somebody takes your shoulder and snaps you towards them and goes, <laughs> scare the shit out of you, you know? The case towards the window. Hmm. I hear a clock. It is a little, little spooky so far. This is a little spooky thing, you know. Uh, I like the atmosphere. I hope it isn't just ruined. Maybe there's a clue. Maybe there is a clue. What if I like just count the books? Like one. How about this? Two. Hear me out. Two, three. One, three? No, that... Two, one... Two, one... What was it again? No, that can't be it. I mean, there's more to it than that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it just me, or is the blinds changing? Uh... Uh... <sighs> Bruh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's him. Orleon. Hmm. I'm not sure. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Here's what we'll do. Shit, that isn't the code. Shit, that isn't the code. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You get it. Brute forcing it. Hmm. Just count the books on each shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you talking about this one too? So one, two, three, four. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Let me let me let me start with the window instead. Instead. So let's see. One, two, three. Yo, write this shit down for me so it doesn't fuck me up. Cause I, I'll forget. I'll forget. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. You know, I'm just asking you guys anyway because I know you guys are lying. One, two, three. I'm asking that because uh, I wrote it down myself really quickly just to see who was lying here, you know? <laughs> All right. Three, six, five, three. Oh, shit! I missed one. 
four, six, five. Okay. Gotcha. Let me turn off the music here so I can it scare the shit out of you when when the big the big pig man comes around and goes. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Never felt threatened by a chair before. <laughs> well, shit, have you seen those froggy chairs memes on Twitter? Shit. Energy. All right. Oh my. Well, now, um, nothing in here. Uh, nothing in here. All right. Well, I guess we're going to see the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, boy. And you're ready, you're ready, you're oh, 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 Something is wrong. Yeah, clearly. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I need to leave now. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. I got a demon in my head, yeah. Hey, Satan, stop it! Got an ASMR demon now. Oh, that was it. Was that it? Oh. Okay. There was a demon in my head. Uh. Well, uh. Interesting. Interesting. Uh. I liked it. It's a little sample. It's a little demo. And I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. You know, uh... Uh, definitely better than, than the... The, uh, Killer Beast game. I, I'll say that. I'll say that right off... Off, uh... Off anything. But, uh, all right. A cool little, like, creepy, uh... You know, point in... Well, not the point and click, but like a... You know, a, you know, absorb the atmosphere. You go into the library. It's creepy. But, uh, personally, when the voice started talking, it went into schlock. When it went, I'm the devil in your head, now I'm gonna fuck you up dead. Like, when it got into that, then I'm like, I don't know. But st still very cool. Yo, let's check out Filth Breed. This looks like a default Unity asset game. Holy shit. This one looks terrible. This looks just like the Granny game we played. Phil comes crawling out of the cracks. Like poo? Are you talking about feces? Yes, I know. Let's play it. Alright, here we go. Let's see how much of a demon my head this has. All right, I shouldn't I shouldn't say stuff about a game I haven't played yet. So, but 
here we go. Let's uh, let's see where this game takes us. In. Is that that game Bad Mojo? You guys ever heard of a, yeah, that FME game called Bad Mojo? It's a game where you play as a cockroach. Yeah. Might do that for FMV Friday someday, you know. Um, welcome to Filth Breed. Would you like to read the tutorial? All right. Click to advance the slideshow narration. All right. Use the arrow keys to move and the mouse to look around. And once you find a firearm, all right, scroll up on the mouse wheel to draw your gun and click to shoot. You can interact with objects in your surroundings. If you're ready to, if you're ready to open a fire. Okay, lower your guard and holster your weapon by scrolling down. Click on the obvious to interact with them, depending on the prompt shown on the bottom of the screen. Ammo is sparse and there's no health recovery, so don't go on gun sublacing. Got it. Homeless shelters all across the state have reported the disappearance of several people in the past month. Looks like me! <laughs> okay, investigators are pointing to Michigan truck driver Larry Burden as a prime suspect. Having a well-documented track record of smuggling cocaine across the border, he is no too, he too is nowhere to be found. His former partner has confirmed Burden's involvement in the case, but remains adamant that he's not absconding. According to this testimony, Burden has been recruited by a local cult and held captive in an unknown location. While these claims have yet to be verified, a transport truck matching that of a suspect has been located next to a warehouse on the outskirts of Detroit. This a job for Robocop! Your move, creep. I'm gonna fucking do it! <laughs> I'm gonna kill the baby, man! I swear I fucking do it! We can't have that. Higher-ups remain skeptical, but you've been tasked to search the area for any evidence pertaining to the case. Okay, well, uh, it's not as unity as it E as I thought it was gonna be. I'd buy that for a dollar. I like it! Let me spinning out Robocop. D this looks way too de detailed for PlayStation 1. Did no, 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 no. What, what goddamn PlayStation 1 game have you seen that has like uh, UV lights? No, what is it called? Uh, no, this looks like a half. This does not look like PlayStation 1. No way. You're right, Sally. We should have never trusted these crazy fucks. Uh, okay. We're just some animals to them. Alright. I hear them shouting again. It's time. Bump mapping, that's what it's called, yeah. And welcome back to MTV Cribs, everybody. Oh, shit. We fought an old Glock. I win! <laughs> I took the gun right out of his pocket, and he didn't even flinch. If only I had the balls to do it before, it's too late for me now. Whoever's reading this, I pray you can make better use of it. Just don't bother aiming for the for the head. I've seen those freaks last well over a week without it. Oh, they're cockroach people! That's fucking rad! Okay, so they're basically... Uh, guys, let's see who's a Godzilla fan. What movie was it where space cockroaches impersonated human beings? I know the answer, but do you? Space Jam. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Okay, yeah. Uh. Versus Ghidorah, Monster X. There you go. Knock knock. Yeah, we got a gas leak. That should have lit the entire place up. Come on. What time is it? What day is it? It all just blends together after a while. I can't even tell dreams from reality anymore. No matter if I open or close my eyes, it's only this pitch black uh, shroud around me. What's worse than the things I do here? I wish I didn't. There's crawling hands and feet all over the ceiling and they can't be all mine. Where were the other drugs going?
Hello? I'm sorry? What? Oh, hello. This game... Oh, there's another guy. It's like half schlock. Uh oh, I'm, I ran out of shit. Excuse me, I just gotta get through here. Uh oh. <laughs> he just wants a hug. Friend. Well, I need some ammo. Oh, hello. I do like the ammo is scarce, because uh, when they give me a big shotgun, the game is essentially over, so... Hmm, let's see what I can get here. Well, I have a, I have a bad idea. Can I trap him? Oh, I'm trapped now. He's vibe checked me. He just vibe checked me. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try filth breed again. All right. I'm good. All right. There we go. Let's be careful here, because I, I barely have any bullets, so every shot will count. What if I just, like, get out of here instead? Like... Yeah, no. Bye-bye! You turn back straight away and tell your superiors you found nothing. You quick, you, your quick return to the short report raised some eyebrows in the office, but nobody was buying that cult nonsense anyway. You feel like an absolute coward and quit the four, the, the four shortly after. The trail goes cold and the case is eventually archived. Thanks for playing! Ultimate wuss. Well, I'm alive! I'm probably in, like, Hawaii, sipping a pina colada right now. You know, I don't- I didn't need this- this cockroach shit in my life, you know? So, who, who's really the wuss? I love games that just let you do that. Okay. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, worth it. Uh. Alright. This game so far has been the scariest when the guy walked out. Because I was like, what the fuck? Like, when this guy came, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Alright, and there's no ammo. Cockers in general are creepy, and thank fucking lord in Sweden they can't live here. It's too cold. We don't have cockers in Sweden. The creepiest thing about a cockers is just how weird they are. Like, they will eat their own children, and they will live without heads. You know, it's fucked. Alright, uh... I read all these. Dude, I can't even. What? <laughs> I'm playing in too low of a window resolution, so the, <laughs> the the paper is cut off. Now that's just pathetic. All right. Let's see what we got, else we got here. All right, I'll read that one. Hmm. Nothing here. Nothing here. I would say this has nothing to do with a PlayStation 1 thing, though. Like, the graphics has to be way... Like, look at this Polycon. No way this is PlayStation 1. I mean, the game is cool, but PlayStation 1, no. No way, man. Let's pull the area first. Oh, oh I, can, I can just walk through it. Okay. Uh-oh. Like some kind of sacred book. What language is that? 
I believe that is elfish. Uh, something that uh, Tolkien made up. Okay. Have you ever seen a place in one game have these kind of graphics? Sun. It took a sick god to man a world is filthy. It took a vile god to shape a world is cruel. <laughs> it takes a world is filthy to shed a world is putrid bosom. Oh yeah, my nama. It is a world is cruel to nurture all of its sisters and of agony. We are but a moon on the rotting apple. <laughs> we are but the shadow of a mammoth to the fire. Okay. The writings of a madman or slipknot. If you fair, 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 then I'm six, six, six. <laughs> Take door. I still to this day, day believe that if you're 555, five, five, then I'm 666. Six, six, it's the stupidest fucking lyric I've someone ever wrote. Look at these graphics. No way PlayStation 1 would. Look at this. Look at this texture resolution. Jesus, man. This would make a PlayStation 1 explode. Alright, whatever. Stop complaining. Enjoy it. What does 555 even mean? It just means... You are nice and I'm really evil. Like... Like... <laughs> I can't... Like, the more you think how stupid of a lyric it is. If you're fair, 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 then I'm sick, 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 here. <laughs> oh, it's him. Jesus. No doubt this is the guy. His gut is burst open and full of maggots. But the body shows no sign of rotting yet. Were they nesting inside of him? My god. Hello, friend. Right on, huh? Game over, man. Game over. Well, That's what I'm talking about. Guys, I get I'll get anyone five bucks to take a drink out of the floor water. Five bucks. Five whole bucks. And it takers. Oh shut up. Fuck it. I don't have enough bullets now. Oh wait, this is just the, the, uh... Oh, this is a new area, okay. It just looked the same. But it is the same, isn't it? Uh, not aiming for the head. Did you not fucking read? I read it for you. <laughs> you block the old iron iron door and take a moment to bask in the sun. Out of reach of these creatures. Uh, Back at the station, you debrief your superior and everything you found. You don't even bother trying not to sound crazy. After a moment of awkward silence, he finally congratulates you for the good work. And he then suggests you take a couple days break. You go home and try your best to get some sleep. Come, mor come morning, you wake up in the news of a fire in the warehouse. The place went up in flames well before a team could be dispatched to check on your findings. It's all gone. Twelve bodies have been f recovered so far. Police are hesitant to identify them as humans. They're hard and hollow, like a man-shaped cheating shells. I got ending three. Pest control. Hmm. I wonder how you get ending two. Hmm. Maybe, maybe like die down there. Hmm. Well, that was all right. It was all right, but it was decent. But it wasn't very PlayStation One-y. Um. In fact, any game that's like. First-person shooter horror game on PlayStation One didn't really like, exist, like the way th these games do it. Uh, like this felt more like a PlayStation Two game, I guess. But uh, it's all right. It's all right. Ending two is just killing a couple of monsters, then leaving. It's the tactical retreat ending. Okay. Well, Filthbreed was all right. I enjoyed Filthbreed.
it was short too. But uh, yeah, you know, I was six out of ten. Six out of ten for this one. This is a art game. Play that one. But did we play Erasure? Erasure? What is this? Working alone at night, only the hum of do dozens of deep simulation pods to keep you company. Something is waiting for you. Ooh. Space game? Oh, look at this game. How do I... Overwhelming? Whoa. What in God's name? Reanimate. Huh? This is interesting. Thanks for fixing my dog. It always gets moody when one of you has to come in. I'm sorry. What is going on? Okay, we have a bit of a problem with this game though, because it's running in full screen. And it's too big. And sometimes I I I I go outside the window. Hang on, um... Like, it's where to describe this problem. Like, it, it's full screen right now. It's not a windowed mode, but it treats it as windowed. So when I go right with my mouse button, it just, like, targets shit and exploit, and I can't have that. So, uh, I might have to skip on this game, because I can't alt-enter into this, um... I can't alt-enter into, uh, different resolutions here, unfortunately. So, uh... Might have to skip on this one. Very interesting, but... Un literally unplayable. Uh... I'll give up one more try on this, though. Sure, there's, a, there's no way of fucking windowing in this game. Because the, 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 the mouse isn't locked in. Uh, super interesting. Well, I might have to just do it for another time, though. Unfortunately, sorry, guys. Alright. Why are you still on Windows 7? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, let's let's move on from this one. Yeah, I'll give Eraser a, Eraser a try. Some other time, though. Let me boot this up again. Alright. Let's try Dread Dilution. I think that was a game that had like a skeleton in it, so uh, let's give that a try. In the clockwork God's realm, where state approved magic is regulated by machines, a dark corruption has taken hold. A small scale open world RPG. Okay. This is window mode. So great so far. Love it. All right, this is a time demo. Now, this looks like a PlayStation 1 game. You know, it's got the uh, texture warping and shit like that, so... Alright. See, yeah, this looks like it. Yep. Is this... Reminding me of somebody else of, of, of Kingsfield? Because <laughs> it looks a little bit of that style. All I gotta do is just like go like this when I'm walking and it's complete. <laughs> What's this? Story. You stand before an avatar of the Clockwork God. It makes abysmal sounds as it connects to the network of machines and magic spread throughout the city. You shift uneasily while you wait. You have no idea why you're here. Being called here before an avatar is, is in person is ra rarely a good thing. The mechanical anatomy shudders and grinds from the time, sputtering oils and steam. Abruptly, it stops. Just as you wonder if it's broken, a feather stylus pops up and writes in large angular letters. You are subject number... Okay, I... Roman fucking numerals fuck me up. Uh... Fuck, what is it? Oh, boy. 142. Okay, thank you. I, I am... 
I am completely fucked when it comes to Roman numerals. Like, I, I can count to, like, ten, and then it shits out, you know? I'm gonna confirm it. Subject data, 142. Your data requires amending. State your vocation. Uh, scribe, you have literally... You have a literacy permit to fabricate realm-wide propaganda requires mental wit. So this is the character generator, I guess. Petty enforcer, you root out corrupt the citizen of the city, often by force. Requires physical brawn, I'll do that. You explain how you patrol the streets, you see, scoring information, banging on doors and rooting out those tainted with the corruption. It's not an easy job. Nobody wants to give up on their loved ones. Not when they know what the divine order will do to them. So this is kind of like Warhammer, almost. You have terrible things to keep the, secret sa the sacred city safe. The machine writes, data amended. You have gained a delusion of might. Okay, subject number 142. You have been selected for the sacramental duty. You hard learns as you read the quickly drying ink. You don't know what the sacramental duty is, only that you... <laughs> that those who are chosen never return. Okay. To find the source of the realm's pestilence, which putrefies the soul and makes broaden the harvest. And to forever bring an end to this corruption. Failure will result in death by incineration. Chance of succeeding are calculating none. May the blessing of the clockwork god be with you. Please exit via the portal. Okay. This game is cool, man. Look at this fucking game, huh? Now this I like. This is cool. I'm gonna you know, like Might the Magic, Dark Messiah vibes here, but... Uh, now, is that a citizen or an enemy? I can't tell. I think that's a citizen. <laughs> huh. Very, very interesting game so far. A little bit like medieval, yeah, it's true. But this really does look like a PlayStation game, you know. Hello. What do we have here? Another outcast from the city of shit and steel! Shit and steel! You can't be talking like this. This is the, the, this is the dark times. You know, take me out of it. No doubt. Tell me, has your god cast your way to die? I guess. At least you recognize the absurdity of that damn place. Since your people came and built that abomination, this land has been slowly rotting. So I'll be, so I'll be keeping an eye out on you, outcast. Okay, weird. Shite. Shit and steel. Hmm. Can't go here yet. I've got shits of steel. Can't go there yet. I guess I'm going in here. There's a bit of a stamina meter too. I'm going in here. It doesn't have the vertex wiggling like PlayStation games had, though. Yeah, that's true, but. Uh, Saving is disabled in this demo. Please exit via the portal. Oh, okay. Town quarantine key. Key allowing entry to, into the town of, of Hallow. When the corruption reaches the town, it was sealed shut and its people left to perish. Interesting. Tower sustained significant damage. Would you like to engage automatic repairs? Yes. Upgrades are disabled in the demo. Please have a nice day. Okay. <laughs> this looks really cool. It has a bit of a, like a Warhammer e look to it. Especially with, like, a, the Inquisition and all this stuff happening in the game. Alright, now, am I supposed to go through here? Huh. The town of Hallow. My people are never allowed past its walls. We natives have been here since the world forging, but ever, but ever, even as we starved, this town kept us out. And in the end, when its people writhed in strange agonies, they locked it up and discarded the key in the tower up there. Okay, huh. So far, this has been one of the most unique-looking games. Uh, Sonic 2000 I really liked for like completely different reasons, but this looks generally just interesting. What is this? Home spell. Return the caster of Hallow. With nothing equipped, select with control and then hold the R. Okay. Subject number 140. Do you press this here? Was this pretty? Do you seek help with the sacramental duty? Okay. Leave this town. Seek the, seek the cipher scribe in this tower. Past the river, he will direct you further. 
Do you press this here? What's the predict? Do you seek with its sacramental duty? Okay. So we've got a little bit of a hint thing going on, I think. Well, chill out too. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. Cool music too. You pilfered one coin. <laughs> okay. This game's cool. Here we go. Rider's key. I wonder where I get my sword though. Pilferid. Pilferid. Oh, we're getting out of here. So th this is open world, huh? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Skyrim. I'm just kidding. Can't go through the bridge, huh? I don't know why, but I just got vibes from 40 Winks. You guys remember that game? You know, the, the Watch Out Mario game. Something with a color scheme, I think, yeah. Potion of health. Restores health, but not afflictions. Set as a, se set as a selected item with alt and press R to use. Okay. Sucks to be that guy. Hmm. I wouldn't, like, when I thought of haunted games, I just thought of, like, bleeding eyeball games, to be co completely honest. And this game isn't very, like, spooky. It's just very, very cool looking. I mean, it's got skeletons, yes, but you, you get what I mean. Like this is this is just a straight up game. Nothing wrong with that though, but I'm saying like I expected, you know, Uyamanama constantly. The best horror doesn't try to be horror, I guess. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, coolest music so far, and maybe coolest graphics too. Huh? Can't go here yet, can I? Could be broken. Hmm. Does anybody remember a game called Pandemonium? It was like a side-scrolling platform 3D thing for the uh, PC. Yes. Because I just got like flashbacks of that game while I'm playing this, even though they're completely different. Story. As you clasp the door handle, your your head throbs, your vision blurs, and a bitter taste of and a bitter taste rises in the back of your throat. Telltale signs of an illusion taking hold. You're still you're still atop a hill with a sacred city in the distance, but now the neuron star burns golden in a blue sky above a glittering multitude of machine towers, skyships, fairy grain, and goods overhead, propelled by faultless cipher magic. You recognize these as realm commissioned propaganda. A utopia vision draws as Draw colonists here from the old kingdoms. A machine knight towers over you. The voice emanating from its sealed helmet is it, shrouded in static. State your business. It leans closer. You're not from the Divine Order, are you? Claim that you are in fact from the Divine Order or say that you're tasked with the sacramental duty. Um, so I have a bit of a choice here. Uh, duty? Alright. A sigh crackles to the air. You're not the first to have come here with that burden, nor the last, I suspect. Its head tilts up towards the fake blue sky. I could help you, but I want something first. It appoints an armored finger at a tower in the distance. That tower with the bridge over there is a divine order prison. My assistant scribe was taken there. A pause. She is surely dead, but the filtrate extractor she carried, I needed urgently. Your body tingles as the illusion fades. The blue drains from the sky, the tower crumbles to dust, and the machine knight is gone. Huh. Is that the sun? We have an artificial sun here cured by magic? That's cool. Can't just sneak in through the back, can I? Alright, I guess we just have to truck along. What a great soundtrack for the game, huh? Just ambient, kind of like... 
stuff going on. Very, very nice. Mm, yeah, I guess it's more of a moon. Alright. Whoa, whoa, I almost fell down. Let's see here, is this locked? No, it's not. There we go. You are... You are illiterate. Requires two mind to read. <laughs> you are illiterate. This contraption looks quite complex. You haven't the slightest clue what it might do. The cipher scribe in this strange tower would probably be interested in this. Right. With a sword and strength, this would break. Oh, I see. Can't fucking read. I must admit, for someone so hopeless, you're tenacious. But let me warn you, the strangeness that plagues this land, the corruption, it is not what you think. Attacking it with brute force is idiotic. If you really want to help, there are other ways. Come find me, we can speak. Otherwise, you're on your own. And then you're truly FUCKED! All I hear is profanities around me. SHIT! AND FUCK! Okay. I think you missed the sword. You think you? Yeah. Mommy, mommy. The devil machine PlayStation box is saying the F word. Okay, uh, the illusion takes hold of you again. Suddenly, machine knight stands above, below a crispy blue sky. Crisp blue sky. Crispy. I want to describe a sky as crispy. With impossible spires glittering in the distance, you hold up the strange device you found at the tower. Yes, yes, Nazi Machine Knight, that's it. Come up the stairs, we'll speak in person. The illusion vanishes with a, with a shiver, leaves a crimson, leaving a crimson sky. You pass into the tower and up the dark stairway. Entering the top sh chamber is like stepping onto a turbulent ship. The whole room, full of strange apparatus, periodically turns on the spot, shaking everything with a furious rattle. Automated telescopes peer through a gaping window watching the shifting horizon. A scribe is hunched over an area of ink bottles, which spill their glowing liquid whenever the room lurches. The figure turns to face you, wary eyes buried in a gaunt face. Don't touch anything, he mutters. It's the voice of the machine knight, so much feebler now. So we can give him the, f the extractor, ask for help, inquire about the corruption, ask what he does here. I guess I'll just give him it right away. You produce the device, and his eyes widen with glee. That's it. Put it here. Carefully, carefully. He immediately pours a viscous substance into the machine, which sputters and shakes for a few moments. A door springs open to reveal a steaming mug. A mug? Or something. He takes a sip. My special design of filtered tea, he says calmly. I've been lost without it. Take this. <laughs> mug moment. Inquire about the corruption. The corruption, says the scribe, distorts everything that touches it, but we have no idea what causes it. He turns his attention to a plant in a glass jar, which throbs strangely. I knew an associate who theorized it was our own cipher, paradoxes in the magic of our great city, which damaged the very fabric of reality. He swallows. But that associate was flayed and chopped into five, pe five pieces for blasphemy. I am ashamed to have known such a heretic. As you explain your task, the scribe gazes gaze away, seemingly lost in thought. According to the clockwork god, he says finally, the corruption has a single source located past the great gate. But the gate is tainted, it no longer answers to the living, only corrupted souls that wander here. If you kill enough of those strange ghosts and collect their protoplasm, it might open for you. He does not sound convinced. Alright, you find a sword in the courtyard. Use it to destroy the quarantine doors and explore the rest of the realm. The scribe turns back to his desk with a sigh. May the blessings of the clockwork god be with you, he says warily. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. And now I have the sword. Executioner's sword. A blunted blade which has not seen combat. Better suited chopping wood and fighting. How do I swing it? I see, okay. Now do I just go through normally? Like yeah. suck could be broken, but how do I Ah gotcha. Alright, so now we just slaughter uh, enough protoplasma here. Yo, this this is like I don't know about you guys, but this game is holding up. 
Like, this game is great. Like, I, I even forgot I was doing this for the novelty of, like, Hey, guys, scary PlayStation 1 game. So I'm just like, well, here's a great fucking looking game, man. I wonder, do I just... Protoplasm, a pulsating mass of organic matter. Said to permit passage through the Great Gate. At times you catch a glimpse of an eye or a finger. Interesting, yeah. And how do I... I pressed Alt, and then we pressed F, right? Wait, Dread Dilution? Explore three distinct zones? Wait, what, 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 nay! What? Time's up! Okay, it's a time demo. Haven't played a fucking time demo since like the year 2001. Holy shit. All right. Damn. Damn. Well, that was great. That was great. I had a great time with that. I had a great time with Dread Dilution. Uh, second favorite game uh, besides Sauna 2000. Fucking excellent. Excellent game. Very cool. Very cool. It drew me into the story because the, the, the soundtrack was very ambient. The graphics looked par, par for the course and it just had a weird Warhammer steam like machine look to it. Machine gods and you know, very nice. Very nice. I might give give the full version a try sometime, but uh, hey, we're back on the, the demos though, so it looks very interesting later on. Anyway, we're gonna be checking out. Uh, let's see, which one haven't we done yet? Heartworm. Guys, Heartworm or Dead Heat? Heartworm. Description. Sam receives a strange tape in the mail. Watching it brings her to a deeply unsettling place that feels strangely familiar. Oh, th th this has a puppet combo vibe to it. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. This is also one of those like full screen games, but th this game did allow for an alt enter thing, even though it's like basically full screen. But whatever. Okay. Oh my god! Now this. I can't tell if it's like GoldenEye graphics or like Resident Evil, but you know, <laughs> the Running Man. All right, hello, it's me, La Lara Groff. Goth. <laughs> okay, you can see the cursor. Shit. Okay, hang on. Get get out of the screen. Okay. Hmm. Now. Spacebar? <laughs> that is, that is a, that's a thing. Hmm, guess not. My TV and VCR, I don't really feel like watching anything right now. Okay. I'm not hungry. L to interact. Okay. Gosh, I have a spacebar works too. Hmm. Oh, I can hold shift to run around. That's not going to change now. Alright. Can I go back? I don't need to use the bathroom. Well, you will soon. Let's go to sleep. Okay. I need to do my sleep ritual. I need to do uh, jogging on my actual bed, you know. <laughs> All right. Clinician's evaluation. Sam, uh, the average height with no relevant medical history. Patient reporting insomnia. Rec recurring intrusive thought related to self-harm, harmed others, low self-esteem, obsessive tendencies, episodes of panic and high baseline anxiety. Patient described these symptoms as chronic and varying in a severity, possibly related to traumatic events from childhood. Patient also mentioned su su suffering as a result. Okay. Uh, preliminary labs. Blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you what. Flintstone vitamin pills will hit the spot. 
every time. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how Dr. Amiga would prescribe it, you know. I uh, need to gather more information. Patient referred to psych psychiatric for further evaluation. All right. <laughs> this this stinks of puppet coma right now. Shit, I'm playing as uh, Natalia, you know? Let me just let me just moonwalk into the tape. All right. Whoop. What's on my leggy? What is on my leggy? Hang on. It is... I thought it was a tribal tattoo. <laughs> okay. You got sick tats. I picked up the VHS tape. Alright, put it in. Alright. Oh, that's a book. That's what it was. I put the tape in. Let's see what's on it. Seven days. I want to be the very best. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. Boom, put up, put up, boom, put up, put up, put up. Ufo porno. Okay. Um. Do you remember? Oh, uh oh, this is getting real, real cheesy now. Huh? But I do like the camera angles a lot. Uh oh, it's locked from the other side. Yo, I keep asking about this, and I, I, I get answers, but like it's such a mixed opinion, I think. But the new, new Tomb Raider games, they're kind of like, yeah, yeah. Somebody referred to them as like watered down uncharted. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Little uncharted. You know, I've never seen the Tomb Raider movies. Should I? Hey, what place in one game had had shadows like this? Uh uh uh. -uh. No way, man. No way, man. Too too many too much graphics right now. Too much. This feels a lot like that puppet combo babysitter game. Holy shit, I thought it was the goddamn source engine error signs. Like in Gmod, when you haven't downloaded something, just error, error. Like, oh my god, it's right outside the window. You know? The world is covered in deep scratches. Can I check what's in the fridge, though? Hmm. Hmm. Sure, it looks like something out of GoldenEye. It's bothering me. TV won't turn off. This stream won't turn off. There's a VHS player. There's no tape in it. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Handful of non-fiction novels. Nothing particularly interesting. Okay. Can go up here, huh? The stairs are completely blocked off. But that's not blocked off. You just like sidle up, you know. Take them out. It's just cardboard boxes. What are you talking about? Uh oh. Hallucinations as a trauma based memory implicates for psychological interventions. Does anybody understand English? I can't read English. Rote. 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 Rotini in four Ma Titon Proki Prokisis Prokising Invul Ve Ve 
up. Brook. Fuck, I can't read. Alright, uh... A number of the patients are destroyed. In summary, the relationship between hearing voices, seeing visions, and traumatic events continues to intrigue clinical researchers. However, a full theoretical understanding remains elusive. The subgroups of voices and visions which are directly linked to the stressful events are likely to be responsive to interve interventions which are based on, on a well-developed theoretical understanding of reactions to trauma. Or... The demon my head. Okay. I unlocked it. Oh, let's get, get out of here. Okay, bye bye. How about we just get in the car and get the fuck out of here? Hang on. The doors are locked. This car looks so familiar. What's going on? It's not my car? <laughs> okay, I guess we. <laughs> Hang on, let me guess. There's. Oh, god damn, I thought there was like a key under the rug outside, but... Yo, you guys ever done that in real life? You you, you have like the house key for a friend and you just put it down in the mailbox? <laughs> I do that shit all the time, you know? The garage door won't budge. The opening's too small to crawl through. There we go. Hmm. A lot of VHS tapes. Uh. Oh, I I wasn't even <laughs> accidental discovery. I flipped the switch. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, whoops. Found the solution. Whoop, whoopsie. Happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I picked up the red book. Can I read the red book, please? It looks like a normal book, but it doesn't open. It's pretty heavy. Hmm. You guys hear that? Spooky. I expect this game to go full full pig mode, you know. Doors won't budge. I, I fully expect, you know. Who <laughs> fucking comes? The pig killer chainsaw, you know. Bu -bu 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 you know. See? Piggy. Okay. There's no tape in it, right? I'm trying to see if I can... Ah, here we go. No surprises here. I placed a fake book in the empty space. Oh my god. It was the fridge killer all along. You dare replace me? With an Ikea, f Ikea fridge? I replace your fucking bonies. <laughs> Hundreds, maybe thousands of VHS tapes. Each one is dated. It seems like they go back decades. Right, though. Hmm. <laughs> What could possibly be all of these? Well, how about you check one of them? More and more tapes. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yo, I kind of miss VHS tapes because... I mean, analog format in general, I'm just a big fan of. And I have a lot of family movies where I used taped shit off TV. Um, and, like, I'm sitting on, like, potential Swedish gold mine stuff. Like, dubbed cartoon stuff that is never archived on the internet. And I gotta go through all this shit someday. But I used to... I used to... Um, videotape or use the VCR recording feature to get Tintin a lot. Tintin and um uh, God, what's some other cartoon I really liked? Yo. 
Loved watching Tin Tin Hat. Babar? No, no, that maybe, maybe. Digitize them. We just can die after a while. They, they're just in like the not our basement, but uh, the like what do you call it? The shed. <laughs> Did I have Betamax or Video 2000? So my grandma, who's passed away many years ago now, she bought a Betamax. Um, she never figured out how to use it. And <laughs> she only used it as a clock feature in her house. <laughs> and I'm like, Grandma, what's that? Oh, that's a clock. <laughs> that's just a clock. And my, my monitor is dying here. Let me correct this. All right. If that's not it, hmm, what's the point of that though? Betamax was better than VHS, but it was the fact that that VCR uh, VHS could um, you know record anything that Betamax lacked. You know, funny how that shit worked. Too. So a lot of good documentaries on VHS in general. This one called uh, uh, "Fucking on. <sighs> and the monitor just died. Entering sleep mode. Fuck's sake, man. <sighs> there we go. <sighs> Jesus Christ Almighty. All right. We're back. Sorry, the monitor just completely shut out there. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a lot of good documentaries on VHS. Uh, there's one about this, this how much porno, uh, VHS porno, like made... One of the contributing factors to VHS winning over Betamax was the amount of porn people could put on it. So literal, literally, uh, UFO porno made it win. You know. Oh, oh, what's this? Uh, letter from Mr. T. I tried calling you, but your phone was disconnected, and I didn't know what else to do. Everyone was worried. Sorry. Your boss called mom and said you stopped showing up. I called Jane, but she said she's not talking to you anymore. I know I haven't been always been there for you, but if you need anything, I want to help. What's going on with you? Is this something what happened? It was 10 years ago, Sam. It's not your fault. You can't hang on to this forever. I love you. Please call me T. Okay. Hmm. Betamax had porn too. That's a myth. It's a CED that didn't have any porno. RDSK, a genuine question. This is not some sort of like me sh shitting on you. Genuine, how old are you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Because it sounds like you're speaking from experience. Like, yeah, you know what? I don't know about that. I don't know. Back in the day, man, I used to go to this video store and let me tell you something. Whole wall. Tits. Dicks and ass. Constantly, alright. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, um, have you used a laser disc? I, 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 I have seen laser disc, but uh, 24 is watch vi YouTube videos about old tech. Shit, man. Younger than me. Okay, well. I expected some some genuine like dude. I'm I'm like 54, man. Like I still have mine. So I watch streams. You know, I I used to videotape your streams, man. I have nothing else to do. Who 
Wow. Subtitles, please. The way I can't understand your demon speech, sorry. Do you to be continued. It sounds like an airplane pilot. Sometimes, so, uh, uh, let me just talk about something about that real quick. You know when you're on an airplane and the the calm or you know they're talking about shit and you can generally not understand them and it's awkward because it's important information that could be you know vital to your survival, but you're too much of an awkward fuck that you won't ask them to repeat it. Like you'd rather die with social anxiety than just be be like. Okay, listen, I didn't understand what the fuck you said, so you're like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Or, you know, when they're doing the, you know, the mask thing, and they're doing the, the, the shit with their arms and stuff like that, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're doing, and I, I'm probably gonna be dying here. And I'm wondering, does anybody else, except me on this plane, not know what the fuck's going on, and don't have the heart to tell them? So they used to do it out of regulation, they're going through the motions every day, you know? Because, <laughs> listen, I... It, it, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. You know. Anyway, uh, cool game, cool game, I suppose. A uh, little bit of a, like a Resident Evil, Silent Hill kind of. It was all right. Uh, I, I feel there's potential here, but it was just kind of blandly okay. I mean, not not amazing. It's just, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It didn't give me like a lasting impression. I'll tell you what did give me a lasting impression. That was uh, uh, Dread Delusion. So far, Sauna 2000 and Dread Delusion has been the top. Taste of Ramen was just a little fun thing, but uh, let's check out Dead Heat. Hey, it looks a little similar actually. Dames, lies, murder, mystery, and zombies in the twilight years of the 21st century. Okay. Give this a try. Oh yes, it, it, it full screens or windows rather, sorry. Okay. Yo, is that anime game? <laughs> Options. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh! Oh thank god I can change this. I thank you. Oh. Okay, so be it. That that is a UI. That is a UI if I've ever seen one, you know. Okay. Subtitles on. Language original? Huh. Relative tank tank? <laughs> I see what we're going for here, but alright. Keyboard was tab cycle interactions. Seduction interrupt <laughs> What What kind of game is this? What kind of game is this? I can play as Sonia or Lilith. I can I can be a clean cop, a dirty cop, Black Widow, or descript. What? What's going on here? Okay, detective level three. Okay, Sonia is a ta talented. Son is a talented liar and highly persuasive woman with a keen sight into the hearts of men. Her her deductive skills are formidable, though physically unimposing. Though illiterate. Okay. Okay, I can be a clean cop. Okay, um... 
You've done you've done your best to not let the black tentacles of corruption stain your perfect record, even at the cost of some friends. The underground resents you, but those who also remain untouchable will aid a fellow crusader. A dirty cop. You don't mind getting a little dirty to get at what you need, and your reputation for blackmail extreme measures precede you. Honest folk will see you as trouble, while some in the underground understand you know the score. Oh, I can jump down into it like a sewer? Manipulating and threatening people isn't just a job, it's a lifestyle. Snaking into the minds of men and pressuring their most vulnerable side for their own ends is a challenge for you derive endless pleasure from. Criminals and honest folk alike want nothing to do with you, but that won't stop them from falling into your black coils. Okay. I guess I'll be good cop, alright? Stato. Oh, these graphics. Okay. Around 20 minutes ago, my boss, Old Sul, decided to give me one of his complimentary wake-up calls. I barely had time to cover myself before getting a glimpse of his bloated, sweaty face peering through a CRT monitor. A monitor which had no had to be designated with no brightness control used to torture me. What? <laughs> the orphan slave driver decided it, wasn't quite, it was quite time for me and Lily to go on vacation and proceeded to slap us with another jumper case. If you told me five years ago that I would be woken up at 11.15 to pick up a rotting corpse in a freezing alleyway in October, I would have stuck with with dancing. Suppose I should see Lily is getting on. Okay. Wait. These controls. Okay. Wait. wait if, if I'm a cop, why do I dress like Blood Rain? <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, there's a little urgency here, all right? Uh, after a few years at this job, seems like this stopped bothering you. Oh my god, the font. Most of the time, it's some poor sap who luck, who luck run out on him. This guy looks the part. Let's see how bad his luck was. Okay, uh... How do I investigate again? Hang on. Uh, I can't go into the menu and check the controls again. Let's check all the controls here. Maybe I can just find one. Here we go. Made a new friend, Bishop. You know, I like my friends. Dead. Quiet. What else have you learned about him? Other than he's not a talker? Huh? 32 years old in human years. Roughly 64 years old in zombie. Blood reading, so Z-A-B. We say Miss Lilith, as a matter of fact. Except there's no alcohol traces. Not my fault you don't know how to fa have fun. What's the damage? Well, scans show the fall shattered most of his rib cage. Glasses dug itself deep into the organs and punctured his lungs in several different places. Must have been thrown out of some force. CSI poking around up there. They just left. Photographed everything up here, just so you can stick around to give you the more normal walkthrough. Something called something called them downtown. They said that they will have a report on your desk, hopefully by the end of the night. We'll head up there then. You okay with Mr. Bryant? Eh, I suppose I should show you around. Otherwise, Coast described it as a pretty untouched apart from the widow window. I'll go in with you, Sonia. Lilith can stay here and keep an eye on the radio. Ah, uh, nice try. I'm coming in. Oh, shit. Sorry. If you say so. Um. Oh, control this to run around there. Alright, now how do I... Okay, there we go. Hmm. This is, uh... This is something. Not exactly a penthouse, is it? You two check around back. I'll stay here and check the glass pattern now. Remember, if you find anything physical, check it out. Shake it over once you have it. You never know what you might find. Okay. Here I am. This is very anime. <laughs> am I wearing a corset? I'm a cop! Jesus! What the hell? I look like I belong to some, like, 1600 vampire hack and slash game, right?
<laughs> oh, here we go. Yo, is, is that Explosion Fighter 5? No way. Night of the Cannibals. Oh, that's like a Disney classic, man. What else do we have? The Forgotten Weapon. Thanksgiving! Fist of Victory! Blood Dragon! Final Death! <laughs> Fisting. Fisting movie. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to get through here. I'm trying to look around. Hmm. If there's one thing I do like about this game, though, is the fact that they have rendered backgrounds uh, in a... It looks like shit, but I think that's what they're going for. Like, just a badly compressed look, which looks... Maybe authentically places in 1E with its bad textures, but... You know. And who else is blood down there? Um, running the blood through, through my batch now. Hmm, it's his. Glass match as well. Was going to do get the samples from forensics, but I can work on them as soon as I get back on the lab. Alright. Let's get out of here. I would describe this a little clumsy, perhaps? Like, the UI is a little... Oh, oh, whoa, okay. What? <laughs> hey, I was shutting off the light! Huh? Stop it. Stop it. Alright. You want any sandwiches in here? Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah, my 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 coworker is a zombie. Nosferatu. Bunny loops. It was him. I don't know. The the the. This game's trying a lot, you know. Isn't that the fucking rabbit from Bambi? <laughs> Hang on. Is it? Is it? They stole Bambi! <laughs> Damn it! Give Bambi back! His name is Tumper? Tumper. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, the internet. Let me Google the solution. Hmm. Can I. Be -doop? Yo, check my gamer setup, boys. Here we go. Uh, uh, this gives me anxiety to look at. Uh, uh, what? What in God's name? Power isn't working. All right. Hmm. Hey, what? What the? <laughs> hey, the mirror is kind of working, kind of. But then there's also the guy in the background. <laughs> Any fun, funny toilet stuff in this game? You don't need to poo-poo right now. It's a mirror. Looking good. Alright. Hmm. Alien at window. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. It's not that kind of stream tonight. A safe. Well, this is interesting. Grubman. Holy shit, I... Okay, do you guys know the, the skit with Tim and Eric where, um, uh, what's his, fuck, what's his name? Uh, Josh Groban sings Casey. And the guy doing the skit mispronounces Josh, Josh Groban's name wrong. And he goes, Josh Grubman. Grubman sings Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me, let me, let me get to the, uh, no, okay. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Fuck! What's the password? It must be fuck. Man, I got I got some melones. Look at that. Jesus Lord. Well, I also have to. I seem to have been having uh, the 
the what's that, what's that logo? The uh, the Resident Evil Four Las Plagas logo on my back. Okay. Get out of here, zombie co-worker. This game feels very trashy. Like I I don't know. Uh, the sentiment, this game also come out very trashy to someone else. Like, it just has this, like, feel to it. That's just, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind it, but, like, oh, what's that? Looks like one of those old matchbooks from Lilith's time. Keeps it from his old life, maybe. Okay. Alright. I thought this was gonna be very, like, you know, Resident Evil, but it's really not. Okay, so I missed something here. Hmm, so I need some sort of... some sort of way to... Oh, I'm talking! Blah, blah, blah! Okay. This game has a horrible, horrible UI. Oh! Hey, you alright? You're like inside the wall. Um. Fuck, what's the password? Uh, well, I don't know, wall demon. Shit, I got my wall hack on. Hey, there you are. Get out of there. We're trying to do science here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yo, I'll ask Lilith. Lilith, what the fuck do you know? Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Alright, let's keep looking. Hmm. Maybe just view outside. Here we go. Looks like they're packing up the stiff. Hmm. So, some dude jumped, huh? Well, we've done all we can. Maybe the computer? Yeah, but the computer uh, power is off. Well, let's try that again, I guess. Maybe power isn't working. Feels like I'm playing Phantasmagoria again. <laughs> Mem memorandum. I'm writing this message. Uh, severe penalties are going to misplace security passes. Okay. So no scribble on the back. Leave password with Matt at bar. He'll know what to show it to. The password? Hey, guess what? I, I might have a clue here. Let's keep looking. Okay, what else do we have? What about these notes? Is this some chips? Okay. Good comment in chat. You make fun of this game, but I know what made you come. Shit, you got me, son. Damn. Okay. Maybe I used to ask the the copy. Oh, what the? Yo, Glenn. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm gravy. Okay, I guess not. Um. Certainly has that 90s, where the fuck do I do or go? Oh, do my, my co-worker's scaring me. It's plodding along like a zombie. It's a zombie. Hey, where am I? Oh, there I am. Hmm. Yep, uh, power isn't working. I'm, I'm sure there's something I'm missing here, but... But now that we have the password at the bar, maybe maybe I just gotta leave now and, and come back, you know? Her face keeps falling off. Yeah, we're out of here. We're out of here. I don't know. This game is... Just, uh, I don't know. All right, let's go to the bar. Let's see, uh, see what we got. This feels really unfinished. Like, it doesn't feel like this This was even in... This is an alpha game, you know? Alright. 
We can just check on the body, perhaps. It looks the part. All right. Hmm. Can we leave though? Don't think I can. Uh. <laughs> oh, the text. All right. Um. I don't think that's the solution either. Can I go through a different section, maybe? Yeah. Check the matchbook in your inventory, okay. Files. Database. Scribble on the back. Leave password with Matt at bar. He'll know who to show it to. Um, maybe I can talk to uh, Little of the Troy. Uh, where to next? Let's head back to the car. You're leading here, so it's your call. Do we head back to Finnegan's, or do we head back to the station? We got, we got, we got, we gotta go uh, to Finnegan's. That's the pub, maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Glenn, no, 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 the car. No car. Uh, Glenn. Seriously? I'll be fine. Okay. Car. Activate car. There we go. New game. What? Uh, I thought we were checking out the bub. Uh,. That was very... I mean, that, that wasn't the ending. I'm sure there was more to that, but... Um, K solved, everybody. K solved it. You know? How about we all went down to the bar and we started goo 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 You know? I looked like I'm ready to party anyway, you know? <laughs> so that, that was Dead Heat. Uh, you know? That was a work in progress of Dead Heat. A gothic noir adventure game inspired... Inspired by the videos that shaped the lead developers young life, and such that this is not a complete level, nor do the mechanics best represent what the end result will be. Instead, we hope this demo will, will pique your curiosity and uh, envelop you into the atmosphere you want the game to cultivate. We'd also like to thank you for taking the time to try out our demo, and hope the bugs aren't too bad. You can find this demo regularly updated at Saxon Software. Hope to see you all there, people at Saxon Software. Well, give it a little more polish, I think, because most of the times it was just kind of glitchy, but... I mean, there's, there's promise in there, but I don't know, that... Ah! 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 You know, it's like, ah! Ugh. I don't know, 4 out of 10, 4 out of 10, kind of, just unfinished, man, I, I I don't know. Um, we checked out a heartworm, too. Um, I have not checked Insomnia, we haven't checked Snowy, let's check out Snowy Castle. Again, this game does not look like a PlayStation 1 game. Let's give this a try. Oh, oh, thank God it's windowed mode. <laughs> right, here we go. All right, uh, here's the game. You finally awake. I'm still amazed you managed to sleep through all this wind. Whoa. Debil? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at these, look at these graphics. Why well, don't make yourself useful and relight the candles? Oh, okay. Well, this is an interesting game. Uh oh no, it's not, because I'm going to be lost in the woods here, and I'm going to be like, Joel, you're going the wrong way! Any open space like this fucks me up, because I'm like, am I am I doing the right thing here, or...? No, this has to be inside the castle. Okay, there we go, there's another one. Joel, you're going the wrong way. Well, you know. Hope the, hope the candles don't burn out. Okay. So the brighter flame is the closer the yard. Hang on, Joe. The brighter the flame is the closer you are to the candles. Listen for the humming. 
Okay, I gotcha. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So this is a collect kind of game. You gotta go around and you gotta find all the things, I, I guess. So it's all about the humming. It's all about the humming. Gotcha. Okay. This game has literally no gameplay. While well, you're playing, what, what are you talking about? This is gameplay. Alright, this one here too. Can I get through here? No, I cannot. Yeah, this doesn't really look like... It kind of does look a lot like a place in the one game, but... You know what this kind of looks like more? It looks like just an, any mid-2000s game on, like, the lowest settings. Like, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but... I don't know. Lock the doors, Joel. Oh, yeah? Okay. Let me guess. There's something like... When you get, like, ten of these, something is going to start chasing you, you know? Bubba ba 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 That's that, right? Yeah. Oh, I hear something. Here we go. Yeah. Something down here, perhaps? Yeah. This is a, that's, this game look, has a really scummy way of dealing with graphics. It's just kind of like... Because you see this water? No way plays in one. But it's also like... No, it's also low poly. So it's like... It's just a weird mishmash. <laughs> You know, damn it! All so far, the closest thing to a PlayStation One game has been uh, God. What was it called again? That that, that one game, uh, the Dreaded the, the Dishonor. Fuck, what, fuck what it was called. But no way could it do bump shading or whatever that's called. I refuse to believe that. Okay, Dread Delusion. Yes, that's what it was called. Yep. Hmm. This game isn't too scary. I mean, not all these games are like particularly very horry, but I mean, this game has some atmosphere. I would say it's got a little bit of ooh. Okay, we're halfway there now. Now we just gotta find the rest. Chronicle Quest. I wouldn't say this is Chronicle Questy, but. But I do like the fact that you can listen to the hum for it to know where you're, you're going. The game looks cool, but... The, here's the real problem with this. Is it fun to play? We'll see. We'll see. I'm sure there's more to this than just... Going right... Light, lighting candles on fire. Alright. Oh, we got something here. We got something here. Oh, I see it. Hmm. You know what I like about the, the snow in this game? It's literal stars. It's not just like a ball of snow coming down. It's just like, yo, here, here's some uh, snowflakes. <laughs> okay. Alright. Ten remain. Hmm. Oh, we have another one, but I think I've already gotten that one. Nope, here we go. Boop. But how is this a haunted game? I mean, I guess it's got a creepy atmosphere. And maybe this would scare me as if I was a kid, but... I don't know. Uh, I'm just listening to the... Uh, to the thing. I'm sure if you play this as a kid, it will bother the shit out of you. Because it would just be like, dude, do you remember that one game where you walk around and light, light candles on fire for like an hour? Dude, that game's so scary. The Yeti's gonna get you. The Yeti? What's this about a Yeti? Have you also noticed that the, the dungeon is getting darker, by the way? We started off and it wasn't this dark yet. He doesn't know. Oh, stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it now! <laughs> the Yeti. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, you know, that, that joke just might, might just bite me in the ass. Again, you know, ooh, what's that? Can't, can't go there. Hmm. Why is there a walk button in this? Oh, shit. Uh, well, this is certainly a game, and it's uh, a, it's a, it's a, it's a treasure hunting game, right? And I'm sure that I'm looking at. The very last secret in the game, and I just cannot find it, and it's just like, oh, there it was. Oh, God, that shit's so frustrating. Alright, am I playing this with your lights off for maximum immersion? Dude, it's it's 11 in the morning. It's, it's bright as hell outside. At least the castle itself looks very nice, you know? Uh... I haven't been down here yet. Oh, it stopped. I think I might. Well, I was down here earlier. Yeah, it's getting a little spooky now. Yeah, I was in here. Hmm. This game, this game is just kind of like delightfully boring. It's not too scary, it's just kinda... Yeah, it's just, you know... <laughs> um... Yeah, it's just, you know, it's alright. Hopefully something happens, though. You know? If this is a demo, what the hell could the final game be like? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this is a tiny, minuscule part of the game to find the secrets, but... Uh, I'm also kind of losing patience in the game already. And it's horrible to say because I've been playing it more than like five minutes, but, you know, I don't know. Twice the candles. Oh yeah, there you go. More. <laughs> the full game has two yetis. Okay, well... What the hell am I missing? Man there. What's going on over there? Can I... Oh, I can't just go past that, okay. Do 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 ba ba Finding candles in the night. This game is not giving me a fright. hump ba 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 Uh... Uh, all right, uh, yeah, this game, this game is atmospheric and also quite boring. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, what have I missed? Can't go here yet. Uh, this feels like I'm playing a Oblivion dungeon that I don't know the exit of. You know, <laughs> like it just feels like I'm playing low resolution Oblivion, and I'm just going circles. Hmm. Well, at atmospheric car, I guess this would be, but uh, yeah, it's just it's just kind of eh. yeah. And I'm sure it gets quite scary later on, but for now, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Well, let's see if we can find all the candles before we, we cast any uh, any review judgment on this game, because if I don't finish it, I haven't gotten the the complete experience, you know? Uh, finally. Let's sharpen our ears. Any candles around, please? Oh! So noise on my ear just now. Is that the Yeti? Maybe it's a paranoia game. Maybe there's nothing in there and you make up the villain. Because <laughs> there's nothing going on. 
Now that's the kind of horror I like, right? <laughs> wow. Well, whoa, no way. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Okay, six remain. Six remain. Awesome. And only five remain. Okay. Hope I got all of these on the uh, the floor level now. Oh, we have four are left now. Can I do this? Watch the last four ones. It's gonna be completely hidden away, and I'm I'm gonna be searching for this forever. You know. Oh God! Please don't let it be that way. Two left. Two left. Go this way first, though. Yeah. Oh, last one! Last one, where could it be? Oh, please. Please tell me I can find it quickly. <gasps> yes! What? Oh, now we gotta return to the castle, I think. Okay. Uh. Table. Twenty-five or twenty-four. Uh oh. What? You finally awake? Yeah. I'm still amazed you managed to sleep. Did I get the bad ending? That's it? That's it? That was the entire game? That's the ending. Weirdness, room, and nothing else. Two out of ten. Two out of ten for that one. Snowy Castle. Ah! Ah! Snowy Castle and Killer Beast. Blah! That was like, that was like, I used to have a map ready, and I used to make up a game about it. Like, I don't know, Snowy Castle. What was the description of this one? Navigate the castle grounds to light candles in this atmospheric exploration game. Yeah, I would say atmospheric, I guess, but... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Well, uh... We're gonna do a new one. Let's check out. Uh, let's check out Killer Bees again. No, we're gonna be checking out. Did we do Orange County? This looks a little stanky. Elon's children. Oh, Elon Musk. All right, we're we're, we're PayPaling it up into space. The B, the beige, middle class housing, the beige sprinklers, the beige. Your skateboard feels like the only thing, real thing in this place. I guess we'll check that one out. Settings. Uh, mouse. Brightness resolution. Yes, thank you. Windowed. No, like, put put this down, please. Oh, what the fuck? Um, we seem to be having a lot of problems with this. Okay, hang on. So select that. Arrow keys, maybe? <laughs> we gotta type it out? This is a true horror so far, guys. Uh, 
Maybe tr stretching the window itself. Oh, that actually worked. Kind of. No, not really. Uh, yeah, this just looks stanky as hell now, but... Okay, confirm. Oh! It didn't work. Okay, whatever. Whatever, let's just play it anyway. Screw it. Toggle skate shift. Oh, I'm skating, dude. Tush. It's a popo. -po. Come here. This is spooky Tony Hawk, everybody. Yo, is that a creeper? Okay, no. Hold space. Grind, hold space. Okay. Th this game is... This game is something. Hey, cops, help me out. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? What the hell? What the hell is this? Watch out for the popo. This is very vapor wavy. Like, but Suta. Shit. Fucking Pepsi police is after me now. I thought, I, I thought literally a police truck was going because I, I drank like a Pepsi. Like, <laughs> okay, um, is this puppet combo? No, no, none of these games are puppet combo. They, they feel like it sometimes. Oh, I, I just realized this game might have a little bit of a stank factor to it, which might allow me to like do things to it. Hmm. Oh, we got another soda here. Is this entire game just collecting like a bunch of Pepsi? Oh, Cheeto. <laughs> Yo, this game is great. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh! Uh oh! He's coming. Okay, here we go. Th this game is so delightfully badly cheesy. I love it. I kind of love it. It's like a vaporwave skate horror game. So I get to Sur Gummies okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Credits. I mean I know it was a demo, but Description, please. Elon's children. Th this game felt like a vaporwave crack pipe, and I just smoked all of it. All right, but that was that was Orange County, everybody. Uh... <laughs> all right. Well, let's check out Ode to a Moon. 
For centuries, the town of Ashfield has celebrated Thanksgiving. Uh oh, Thanksgiving video games? Shit, I know what I'm doing next year. With a week long festival, but everything changed in 1986. What happened? Has any of these games been good? Well, there's been one good game tonight. Uh, and it's been um, something called Dread Delusion, which was basically a, uh, a really cool looking Warhammer machine fantasy RPG thing with skeletons, and it just looked gorgeous. This looks a lot like a puppet combo game. Who is it? Is this the tip? Yes. The only one, as far as we can tell. Are you sure? Nominally, there might be others who are from the sheriff's office. No, not yet. It's been months. Yes. Location. Upstate. A signamento. The Ashfield Harvest Festival. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Ellipsis. Are you all set? Yes, I'll find out what happened. Good, we are counting on it. Homer. Oh my god, it's pouring. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mona Lisa Overdrive, Gibson Caves of Steel, Asimov, Del Delirious New York. Huh. Well, I like to read, huh? So many boxes. Can I just go to sleep? Still midnight. We were playing like facade. <laughs> Everything had box in there. Okay. It's been a month. Have to unpack these when I get back. Yeah. Sitting down at the computer here. 56k can 56k can wait. I need to go to the bathroom first. Go to the bathroom. Fun night. Yeah. Is it the bathroom? Okay. A small journal with doodles. East of Eden, staying back. Uh, the Dunwich Horror Lovecraft. <laughs> All right. The mental bathroom is mentally functional, and the mirrors don't work. <laughs> okay. What's in the fridge? Glad I washed these before leaving. Oh, it's day now. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Rido. What was that? This game's pretty cool, actually. You're nightmare. Yeah. Such an endless sea of trees. Welcome to City City 17. You have been chosen. I'm never going down to the Louisiana Bayou again. You remember to speak wing dings? <laughs> An old ticket booth or newstead has not been action in decades. If I ever made a game, I, I'm afraid it would be terribly boring, because it would only appeal to me. Like, I, I've had this weird nightmare once that I wanted to put into a video game, and it was a, a nightmare about you leaving your apartment and just walking into the forest late at night in the middle of, you know, when it's completely pitch black, dark outside. And you just go into the forest to die. And you can't control your body. Like, it's not you controlling your body anymore. You just wake up and you start walking slowly towards the forest. Gosh, that was scary. Oh, gee. That sure was scary. Whoa. That boot chair. And what's this? 
Waking well, the whole neighbor up to the thanks to these dogs. Can't see a thing. Oh, look, look at this. This looks cool as hell, man. Kind of hurts my eyes, though, but. Shrubbery. Oh, Jesus, my eyes are actually hurting looking at this. Oh. Okay. Maybe this could be the game I was dreaming about, you know? Covered in thorns and scratches. I get through here. Yes, finally a way out. This guy's a little messed up here, but uh, this game looks really cool. I gotta say. Hmm. D did they just describe a game? That is literally happening on screen right now. <laughs> you get out of your apartment, you can't control your body, and you go into the forest. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, uh, all right, we just gotta get four masks here and call the giants. Oh, Lord. This game is also atmospheric, but it's good, unlike the last, <laughs> the last uh, Haunted Castle game or whatever, Snowy Castle. Like, if Snowy Castle started behaving like this, the more stuff you picked up, then, my god, it would have been good, but, you know, <laughs> we're going for that. Wow, what a nightmare-looking game, huh? Hmm. Not sure where I'm going, but oh my god, the texts are getting all sorts of fucked up. Oh god. Oh lord Jesus. Shit, I got into the medicine cabinet again. I do not want to get lost in this kind of game. <laughs> Disorienting sure is the word for this. The way I came from, or I really can't tell. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna fall off. Whoa, look at this. Oh, Jesus Christ, my eyes! Ah! Well, so far, uh, this and Dread uh, Delusion so far has been the most gorgeous looking games. So. Especially for like a PlayStation 1 looking game, you know? We're trying to be at least. Uh. Hmm. I'm, 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 I'm wondering where this is all leading though. Different paths, so. Oh. I hope this game isn't just closed down, but like, you're dead. <laughs> like, some shit like that. It's, it's pulled me in too much, just this, this, discard everything, you know? You dead. Whoa. Is that where I came or? See, when I'm playing games like this, I always feel like I, I, I go too far in the wrong direction. And it, it ends up like being unsalvageable because I'm like, oh, that's not what the game wanted me to go. I'll, I'm always going in the wrong direction with video games, man. Oh, here we go. Hello? Right.
Your dead or alive should adapt these physics, huh? <laughs> Holy shit balls. Holy shit balls. <laughs> You're dead. And dead. Was that the real ending of the game, though? Because was, there was a two different paths I could have taken. But I don't want to redo that, though. But, I mean, that was, that was okay. Hmm. I mean, if this was a demo, then... I guess you just follow the moon outside and you fucking start... Like, huh. Interesting. Uh, Ode to a moon, huh? Well, uh, cool game. Cool game, but... Uh, what the hell? Uh, I liked it, though. I liked it, though. It was atmospheric. Okay, well, let's check out... Uh, Let's check out, uh, not Tasty Ramen, Fetum Petula. Place in a world without change, you must create fate by watering an ancient plant, determine a future and live with it. Okay. We're going to Japan. Okay, uh, this game has flashing lights and images that may cause discomfort and potentially trigger seizures with those with photosensitive epilepsy. Well... I think that, that generally, if you're playing a game collection like this, I think if you actually have epilepsy, you'd probably be like, yo, I'm just gonna avoid this in general, but, you know. But nice of them to give a warning, I suppose. Uh, wow. Boob. Love boob. Best video game developers, man. Classic. Hey, this game actually has the intro of the collection as a... I like that. Every game should have had this in it. Okay, uh... Well... I'm used to crank up my... Kanji knowledge here. <laughs> All right. Oh God, the these fucking UIs, man. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, let's uh, let's begin. Hey, this ge this game looks a lot like a real place in one game. Look at that. Look at the texture warping and the uh, stuff. Yeah. You know what this game reminds me of? There is a Sega CD 3DO game called, like, The the, the House of the Butterflies. Uh, it was on Game Center CX. Fuck, what is that game called? Uh, I'm sure somebody knows what I'm talking about, but, uh, yeah. Now, do I do something here, or...? Yes, not. Uh... That, huh? Hmm. Well, let me just press E here, like. Yeah. Oh. Some say the air itself has a face. It's true. A child once bore witness to its piercing eyes. Rick with grief, she traveled to the end of a narrow stone path atop a river and ple pleaded the cold to show itself. The sight of nothing stole her gaze and she waited still. A horrible row of teeth soon reflected her image and she was gone. The wind stole her not but with change, but with truth. Interesting. Inventory tab interact E. I got that. No, 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 I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Oh! Well, now.
You're right, man. Consider this tree and our land to be one and the same. A cynic dote? <laughs> Both are kept between the living and the dead. This ancient water holds its roots in limbo. As such, everyone here has failed to accept entropy. 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 I've considered us to have not existed in a previous state at all. The planet is our fate, and it was it waters our fuel. I will provide you with the tools to make all alterations. Do whatever you must, but don't feed it with what you bleed. Right. Well, shit. Interesting so far, I'll say. Uh oh, is this spoo spooky, spooky forest three for doom? <laughs> I expect these shrieking skulls to appear any moment now. What the? I don't know how long I've been here. There is constant pain in my empty stomach. Mr. Meow, I'll get you out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This air is not available in the demo. Oh, okay. Whatever. No! You may not! <laughs> Alright. What are these called? Shinto ar arches? Can I get this? Yes, I can. It's a note here. If you're reading this, I am dead. This tool once aided my research, and I hope it will do you the same. A Tori. But Tori also means bird. I guess that's how you spell it. You spell it either Tori or Tori. Be warned, I fear this blade has become weak with age, and may only have a few strikes in it. Alright. Yo, they be swimming. <laughs> Soundtrack's pretty good in this game too. Uh, this, I wouldn't say this is a gem, but this, this is keeping me mildly interested. Okay. <laughs> I just got like Ocarina of Time uh, <laughs> uh, vibes. <laughs> But the, uh, the Deku Tree music is being like a hum. And the fishing lake here, like, it's kind of relaxing, actually. How do I get up here? Oh, okay. Hmm. Do I sleep, or uh, I guess I do. Uh. Right. Well, I'm not gonna even attempt to decipher what the fucking kanji means. So, what what is going on? Hey, man. Have you seen a painting around here? I saw it a long time ago, and I want <laughs> it won't leave my mind. I've tried a long time to see it, and it's gone. Such is death, I guess. Soundtrack, though. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I see why this game was like, yo, you, yo, if you're photosensitive, just, yeah, this game might not not be for you. <laughs> Is that the way this came from? Uh, oh, oh, God. Uh. The, them, them fish be swimming, dude. <laughs> well, hey, someone clean the fucking disc. Game's glitching out. Too. Now, if I went back.
back there, it spawns me here again. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do anything at all. Maybe I was just supposed to sleep again. I guess so. So this this like a dream world and a real world, huh? Interesting. <laughs> sometimes I feel these creepy games. <laughs> Hear me out. This is gonna be a little bit of a critique, but I sometimes feel like this these games just throw out a bunch of cryptic shit, and they never explain it, and you just say they're scary, and I'm like, what? What happened? What? Did, what? But it? What did it all mean? You know. Uh, <laughs> he just fell down. All right. Like this game, for example. I mean, I'm intrigued, but I'm also like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, can't go down there, huh? Well, I guess we're going into the uh, I hurt zone. So. Uh... Maybe not here yet. I have an idea. What if we hear me out? Too. Do this, and we <laughs> animation. He's going, slowing by. Try maybe catching a fish and give it to the cat. Yeah, that's true. Now do I actually go there to swim around and fish, or? Uh... I guess we do. Hmm. I'm just gonna go. F I'm just gonna go fishing by stabbing fish in the middle of the ocean. Or ocean, I mean river or lake. Watch out! I'm coming. Oh, you better watch out. <laughs> Valve animations. Okay, now I have the fishing rod. Okay. A gravestone for a fisherman sits here. It reads, May we see him in our dreams. Ah, I see. I see. What the fuck, God? I'm fucking crazy, dude. I got my fucking knife. Okay. I want to say this game is scary. It's just like a trippy game, you know. Which, sometimes I feel these games confuse the two. You know, I guess it's called just Haunted Simulator, or Haunt Simulator, not a simulator, fuck. Haunted PS1 Demo Disc Collection, so it could be whatever the game wants it to be, you know, so. Well, look at that. Trippy is creepy, though. I, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Tuna Tuesdays is back. Hey, guess what, buddy? I got you a fish. Check this out. Yo, he munch. <laughs> Thank you for the energy. I needed it. Now I shall return the favor. Here, take some of this black stuff. I know we produced plenty of it back home. Although I can hardly remember my home. All I can seem to recall is fire. Okay. Interesting. Seems to do something with this, huh? Ooh, let me guess. I gotta go back here with something else, maybe? Oh, maybe. That's what it is. Okay, so now I have... Oh, it's just oil. It's oil. Okay. Bit of a fetch quest game, you know. It's not a bad thing, but uh, hmm. So I wonder what I use this for. Pour it at the water at the temple. I can try that. Uh, the water at the temple, like uh, here. This doesn't seem right. Uh, 
<laughs> Look at that island. The temple respawned. Because this, this this wouldn't make any sense, would it? Hmm. <laughs> you guys remember what Sonic told us about pollutions? All right, let's see here. Uh, let's try it out. Fuck it. Oh, it, that don't work yet. Ha! <sighs> Burn the tree at the temple with the oil. Okay, I'll try that. Very good soundtrack. Very, very ser serene. You know, I like that. I don't think this is the solution, by the way, but we'll try anyway, I suppose. <laughs> no, no, that don't work. Yeah. How about the, can I take the painting? I don't seem so maybe I gotta cut it off. No, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. What if I sleep it now? Uh, but now it's gone though. How do I get it? Is that your guts hanging out? <laughs> Yo, look at them fingers, huh? You want some oil, man? Can I stab him? Crap, this guts out. Maybe put the oil on the painting? Alright, I'll try that too. No, that doesn't work yet. Is the painting the oil that killed the fish? Hang on, let me see. Hmm. Am I the fisherman? Well, let's let's uh, let's go back to the uh, the fishing room. Maybe we can do something here. Maybe we can show him it. Can I fish for him? No. Tell you what, let's head on over to the uh, the fisherman grave once I'm in the dream world. See if anything changes. Did Joel play the sauna simulator? Yeah, that was, that was the first game we checked out, and it was prob probably the best one, honestly. Uh, all oh, these fucking graphics. Ah! Uh oh. Please cut the shackle of rope. Okay, cut that shit down, I guess. What? Hello? I was a man once. A dangerous fish caused my fate. Its flesh could kill an immortal, but it can't harm plants. An immortal's death will never die. Will never matter, though. Ghosts can't die. Is this Mario 64? The bo boredom is too much, and I wish to poison the future. <laughs> you need to feed this fruit to anything with a beating heart. Take the victim's blood. I know of the plant. Please kill it. Save us all from eternity. We need non-existence. Right. Huh. How about, uh, would you like some oil? No. Jesus. The knife's broken, man. The plant through that chill next to the house, maybe? <laughs> Alright. This game is this game is really the strangest thing tonight. I think. I mean, it's even stranger than the, the uh, Old to a Moon game, because with the dialogue, it's like, what the hell, you know? <laughs> I like it though. I like it. Let's see here.
Uh, that is not how we do that. <laughs> I just lost my apple, man. Hmm. Feed it to the cat? No! No, absolutely not. Not my friend, Jose, my friend, though. <laughs> I'll do it just to, like, pass the story, I suppose, but, like... That's not shit I advocate. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Meow... The f fish in the pond? That's a better idea, I think. Just... Throw it anywhere? Uh, might just break the game if I do this, but... Soft lock. Soft lock. Uh oh. Maybe I can use the fishing rod to do it. Hang on. I don't think the game... No. I think I might, might have messed up here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Feels like I'm a Spider-Man, you know? Alright, I'm gonna call it for the Fatum Betula thing. Interesting game. Maybe a little too strange, I think. Um, Wandering an ancient plant. Maybe, maybe so strange that it's like, it's hard to understand the game. Um, cool, I suppose, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do, uh, let's do one last one. Uh, which one haven't I, have I played until Big Light? No, I have not. A narrative adventure about mice, fat cats, and never-ending quest for Cheddar. Oh my god. This seems like a game. Okay. It's the middle of night. It's the middle of no light, and you've just been rudely awakened by your landlord demanding extortion, an extortion amount of rent. You don't have the cheddar <laughs> to cover it, so you got into the nearby neighborhood in search of odd jobs to scratch up the crumbs. Am I Garfield? Yo, yo, no, no PlayStation One game looked like this. Stop with the goddamn like shading like this. No, 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 no. It's him. Wait, is this a rat game? Is this a game about rats? Like, cheddar? Oh my god. The hefty mass behind the bar looks up in <laughs> their bar. Rapidly spinning a boulder cloth in the thimble. Hmm, hi there. Haven't seen you around here before. Surely you just ask... Surely you didn't just wander in from the trail? What if I did? I'd be fairly impressed. Not many a mouse is able to avoid these roving packs of feral beasts. Best to keep to cordoned off zones. We know the fat cats are able to ensure our safety. Have you been out there? Gods, no. How do you know it's dangerous? I've been told as much, so I don't go around questioning an entity as all-knowing as fat cats. Look, is there something you need? Got any crumbs? Ah, uh, just what I like to hear. A mouse motivated to work. I mean, assuming you were looking to work for these crumbs. What do you need done? Well, we have a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. They're quite huge. We'll probably take a skilled sword mouse to fell one. So that rules you out. But I got something more your speed. A letter that needs to be delivered. Are you familiar with nine lives? What's that? Really? It's the biggest chain owned by fat cats. You've definitely seen one at some point. They're everywhere. At any rate, they just further down the path here. That's where you're going. Take this letter and give it to the cashier. The mysterious letter. The husband wants to pay you. Don't listen to any police they come up with. They're a rampant liar. Who are they? No one. Don't go poking your snout into things. Trust me. You stand that over and you'll get something nice in return. Let me know when it's taken care of. Stay safe out there. Well, this game's something, huh? 
Hey there, you're the new mouse ran here, right? The one that does whisker deliveries? I've seen you out there now and then, doing deliveries just like me. I just started, man, I just started. Is that your side gig? Not quite. Oh, my friend, there's no shame in it. I'm a coog just like you. I know you're paying all too well. We're comrades out there. The everlasting chase for cheddar. It's so fruitless. I could use some help. What's up? I'm being evicted. No shit, me too. Oop. Let's be friends. We're already co-workers. I hate that, though. Whisker is terrible. It's another dumb fat cat's initiative cooked up to fellow Hume trends. Oh, man. Hume. It pays the bills. Not enough, apparently. Not that I have much of a choice anyway. Hardly any jobs out there, much less anything hiring. Damned if you do, damn more if you don't. It's nice. Not having to work at any of those stupid shops like Nine Lives, but I don't know how good that really is. All I do all I do day in and day out is sprint up and down the trail, handing richer mice food they can't afford for scraps of crumbs off the top. I don't have time I don't have to, I don't have to stop unless I wanna, which is really good. But also it's not like I have to go out there. No one is making me. And no one cares about me there. It's lonely. I miss camaraderie. I had a tumble the other week while I was running a delivery. Fell down a hillside steep. Really messed me up. Bounced off some rocks on the way down. Had a hard time walking. And the dog I, I saw told me it was going to cause a good hunk of cheddar to fix me up. I didn't really have much to away because I'm barely making crumbs anyway, you know. You can't save that on pittance. Plus, after paying for the checkup, I can barely afford to eat. And now I couldn't get to... I couldn't get going to make more money, because my job relies on me being able to run all over the place. Real shit sandwich, let me tell you. I tried reaching out to Whisker and tell him, you know, I was working for you guys while this happened. You know, I pulled myself back on the trail and hobbled all the way to the end of my delivery still. Hoping they'd, fr hoping they'd help front up some of the cost, make me feel like they valued my work. Appreciating the high diligence and finishing out an order after that. They told me I was the one responsible for me. So, now, here I am. I got some crumbs from drinks, I slowly limp up and down the trail for a few more crumbs for some drinks, and I survive. Oop. I don't feel like talking much anymore. Okay. So, it's an Uber Eats driver. <laughs> okay. Guess I'm going in here. Okay. The lady needs to in the can are obviously young, obviously extremely bored. They don't seem to notice your approach. You you wave your paw a little at them and they come to, uh, hi, are you buying something? Letter for you. They shift nervously, averting their gaze from yours. Uh, what do you mean? You hand them a mysterious letter. Look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. Not my problem. Well, if you want to keep your word to them, you're going to have to help. Otherwise, you're in trouble, too. I'd say it's definitely your problem. They don't think kindly to people who can't accomplish what they need. I can't afford that tab. But I have a friend that I think can help. Who? All right, so you're going to head out there. Take a left. You'll see a real small path through the grass. That'll take you up to a cliff. Knowing them, there should be an old mouse staring at nothing out there. They know everything there is to know about this place. They know what to do about the barkeep. And I know you got a lot of questions about all this. So I'm sure they can clue you in on what a mess this place is. Here, take a note explaining everything. Just hand that over. Okay. I'll close up early and meet you over there. And then when I'm done, we'll talk more about what to do. It's exciting, if you say so. It is. Today might just be that red letter day we've been waiting for. If you decide to help my friend. Anyway, I gotta start pet I gotta start getting stuff put away here. Go get caught up. Good luck. This game has a lot of reading. <laughs> um Is this a scary game? Because it looks very cute. Like it's a Hey, we gotta get the cheese. <laughs> hey. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna not do this game tonight. I'll do it next time. Because I just had a gut punch saying, yo, idiot, eat. So, we're gonna be finishing the, this collection next week. This is a couple of games left, and I'll throw in a bonus Spooky Saturday thing on top of this. So it's gonna be a double, double duty kind of thing, you know. But, um... Hey, that, that was a that was a cool game, I guess. But uh, yeah, so far tonight though, uh, the I keep forgetting what it's called, but it's the uh, PlayStation One Steam role play kind of shit. What is it called? Uh, Dread Delusion. Yeah, Dread Delusion was my favorite 
Um, that game actually stood out, and it made me actually want to play it. Um, a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of the other games I felt was just kind of like, you know, the Moon game was alright, and I liked, uh, I liked what what fuck was it? Other games, the Cockroach game was like okay, you know, um, yeah, Orange County was badass. That's true. That was badass. Right, You're going around drinking Pepsi, fuck the popo, you know. <laughs> there is a hidden game in the files. Oh, really? Well, that okay. I we'll have to check that out then. Um, all right. So, I did the art section at the start of the stream. <laughs> uh, I did the art section at the start, and I, I I did three pages of art. Uh, and I will be doing the rest for now. So I will be going, uh, I'll do a little quick BRB, come back and finish it up. So be right back, sit tight, and the rest of the art coming up. Don't go nowhere. Fun fact about that uh, 1080, um, 1080 Nintendo 64 game, uh, the review theme, you know, the first time, first game I ever heard with drum and bass. Like, what is that sound? The first game. And I was like, I wasn't hooked ever since, but I was like, oh, what is that fucking sound? You know, anyway. Uh... Anyway, let's check out the art. From, let's see, let's see here. Here we go. From Lewis. <laughs> Just a small doodle made with a cheap marker pen. The color got a little washed out because of the scanner. Hey Joel, I really enjoy your streams. I swear your jokes make me spell my drink on my keyboard twice. God damn it, I had to remove all the keys to clean it up because I'm some pee 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 poo poo joke or something. Please continue. Well, thank you so much. I enjoy that. Pretty damn cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you so much. Noli Cannoli did this. Wow, I can't believe they sell this. Little canned jupas. <laughs> jupas? <Wh> Whoopass. <laughs> I thought it was a J first. I'm like, jupas. Whoopass. That's what it is. That's little shit. That's some some other little shit. Big little shit. I'm gonna hit up some little shit soon. You know? Hey, why not? But there we go. I, I specifically requested uh, Rio at sh at Lidl, and boy oh boy, the the board delivers. <laughs> From Buff Bumblebee, I see <laughs> garlic fifty percent off. Uh, that's pretty good. Ah, <laughs> uh, lovely. Lovely. From Zero Diamond. Think that I ever forgot to ever show this. Uh, I created that garbage fill card for Carmageddon. Looking at it again the other day gave me another idea for a fun product, but I don't know if I'm ready to commit to it yet. Well, uh, I know you've been waiting, Zero Diamond, but probably tomorrow we can finish the, uh, the game. I uh, just, like, it's on my old computer and I have to try, I have to basically like transpose the files onto a new computer so I don't lose the progress and it's annoying because it's retro arcs uh, save files it's not regular save files it's a different format so I just have to like do a surgery like they taught me at school but there's the pasta wagon <laughs> Carmageddon dude that garbage feel looks stanky he looks real stanky <laughs> but thanks uh, original driver was garbage field from Beetle Hug. What the hell is this? Uh, I hate when people underestimate my fastness. I'm so fast you, you wouldn't even comprehend how fast I am. What? <laughs> There's a video. Hey, Joel. Okay, I'll check it out. I hate... What, what is this? when people underestimate my fastness. I'm fast. I'm so fast, you couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. God damn it! 
Is that his ass? Is that just an ass? I'm gonna get banned for that, man. I'm gonna get banned for that ass. Ba that ass is banned. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but what the fuck? I think that's Vinny on the right too. Yeah. From Conkerton, here's Little, Little the Bird, Little the Eagle, Tony the Hawk. Yeah, you know, it's, it looks pretty damn good. I thought this was a Smash logo at first. I'm like, ah, oh, look at that. He's in Smash now, boys. Lead looking shoes, huh? I actually saw this art beforehand, but a great art, by the way. But uh, Mad Madam Hootie did this. Convenient. I saw this on the Boru the other day before I checked the art. So I've already kind of seen this and I posted it in, on in the chat saying, holy shit. Ask and you shall receive. Thank you for the fun stream still. Forgot his stupid anime bandage. Well, all right. Convenient. <laughs> Lidl. I uh, love it. From uh, Ekitronics. Some of my favorite badasses from your streams. Varga Friend, the Dupe Slayer. Psychic Warlord Ness. Uh, Bulk Bogan and Lasagna Ocelot. All Urs is there after falling through a hole in a cave. Like the fool he is. I love it. Dude, that, 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 that Urst is great. That Urst it knows what the fuck's up. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. Oh, great job. Great job. I've been actually thinking of restreaming Earthbound. Like, it's, it's literally been five fucking years. Five fucking years! Could you believe it? My god. My god. You know. But, uh, who knows? Probably doing some other Earthbound game before we're doing a restream of that. Like, uh, you know. Start another, start another game, you know? Like restreaming Undertale, right? One time you fucked up. Ah, fucking fucked up. Imagine if I just, like, dead ass dropped it out of nowhere and I just went, BAM! We're restreaming Undertale tonight, dude. The people would not know what to do with themselves. There would be... A fucking fire gas storm on the internet. People be like, "Oh my god!" Right? Yeah, the Undertale playthrough is almost like five five years old now. It's incredible, you know. But there you go. I, I don't know. I'm just kidding. But Atrox did this. Have you seen this person? <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't call a Vork friend like a person. I would be more like a. Have you seen this goblin? Or this gremlin? You know? This little fuck. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's great. He's a dude. Yeah, have you seen this dude? Goblin. Oh shit, I shouldn't say it on the stream. C fast cheers 88 did this little vog friend Vo not not a vog friend uh, it was a vog friend here vog shroom sorry my bad uh that looks pretty awesome i like a little bit of the isaac style a little bit i guess the eyes being all like shiny you know but that looks great really really cool very very cool hyper mega did a comic look at this this is a small idea but i made up yesterday the most the friends going on an adventure to find diana Oh, come on, don't fuck with me like that! I don't need that shit in the morning! What the fuck? This is years before our passing. Oh, okay. Okay, please! They will have a travel together, great likes to find her, deal with major and minor conflicts. More friends will appear later on, stay tuned. Uh, friend Adventures, episode one, Diana's missing. Don't, 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 don't. don't. Guys, Diana is gone. What? What should we do? Go on adventure to find Diana. I like your thinking, but first we need to prepare. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I can't even. I can't. I can't even talk about. It. I can't even talk about. It, all right. I, I got. I got. I got. Gotta move on. I gotta move on. Great art though, but I. I did not need that shit in the morning. I did not need that shit in the morning. Now I'm gonna sit there. Uh. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Great art, but I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> uh, Alodius. Vogue Skelth or Skeleton Metal. Well, look at this. This is the Boner Brothers working on their next Skeleton Metal. 
Now, since you said there will be no more skeletal metal, I think the next logical step would be alien metal. Like Nocturnus? <laughs> and all songs on the album would be covers of UFO porno in different metal genres. No. Thought that would be foodny. Anyway, boner music. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, well. UFO metal. Oh. I, I guess Nocturnus is more like space metal. You know? I don't know. Anyway, very good, very good, very, very nice, very, very nice. I enjoy that a lot. Alternative covers, why not? Very cool. Tori Chibi did this. Smug ass toad, what is this? Hey Joel, just wanted to give you a heads up. I submitted an emote, so there's a little slice of it. I can delete this off the board, but it still counts as posting an emote, I think. Uh, enough, thanks, love you a lot. Well, I can check this out. Smug ass shroom. I might have to check the... Uh, the submission form because I, I might have missed some new ones, but I might get, give it a try after the stream for sure. Well, thank you so much. Spelumpkin did this. Hope your dad feels better soon, Joel. Well, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I've been, uh, you know, I've been going over there every day and making, making him lunch, which I'm going to do soon, actually. I'm actually a little late, but, you know. Uh, yeah, but, you know, he's, he's doing better. He's doing better, you know. Um, been making make lots of food, lots of food. You know, I I, I I do the shopping for him, so you know it's off it's off to the it's off into the wild beyond outside soon, where I gotta go deal with this. It was fucking snowing yesterday, and now it's snowing, I think today as well. So, uh, but hey, thanks, I appreciate that, and I'm I'm sure my dad will appreciate that too. You know, but thank you, very nice, very very nice. From Peter Man the Fox, or Peter Man Fox, sorry. Uh, um, here we go. My very first upload of the Borer. Sure, it's not the Mona Lisa, but I still put in a lot of effort. Hope you like it, dude. That that is, that is fucked. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's streaming on that weird ass Putin thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. From Glade Bill. Here we have Little the bir Bird with the pot smoker t shirt. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. He's that's pretty gamer. You forgot the hat though. You forgot that you can you cannot have because now well I mean pot smoker and gamer is kind of synonymous with each other, but you need to you need to also advertise the fact that he's hella gamer, you know? Cause basically having gamer on your hat and on your shirt is basically saying, I do drugs. And you're also saying, I do drugs. So it's a very, like, cemented marble comment or statement saying, I do drugs. You know, so check that out. But <laughs> that's, 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 that's great. That's great. That art looks really, really good. Thank you. Tofu did this. Forgot the Joel down there. I massacred his face. Sorry, that looks pretty good. But here's some Vark Shrooms floating around. I can't tell... I can't tell, but it looks like this this guy has a double face. Now, I don't know if this line is his mouth line, or it's meant to be like the teeth line, but that looks great. <laughs> it could be a mustache or a pencil, you know, but it looks really good. It looks like some uh, Lost Souls from, uh, from Doom, you know, which it looks really, really cool. From uh, Melly Draws, Little Bird and Little Egg Friend. More like Little. Yeah. Oh, I say Little. Okay. Gamer hat and barbecue shoes on. Well. That that looks great. And now you're reminding me that I'm slightly going down in Pepsi supply. And I'm going to be going soon and buying up uh, another 24 pack of Pepsi. Um. I gotta get that soon, but uh, there we go. That's that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Bruh. He's trying his best. Look at that guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, he knows what the fuck's up. Hey, <laughs> This uh, No. No. Great, great job. Ken did this. Hey, look at this. I wanted to make Little the Bird art, but I'm absolutely garbage at Sonic-style characters, so I just ripped off Sonic Adventure's art style. Also because I love the art in Sonic Adventure. Enjoy this deviant 
art look uh, OC looking ass abomination <laughs> Well, he's certainly got the little shoes, right? You know He's also throwing gang signs and I don't know what that's about, but, you know, naturally as a gamer, you know, when you do drugs, you're also probably in in a gang, you know, so. <laughs> hey, I like it a lot. I like that a lot. It doesn't very much look like Sonic. What's, 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 what's the secret to making the Sonic Adventures? I guess it's the, the outlines or, like, the shading. I don't know. It does look like something from... From that 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 franchise or games, there's two games, but yeah, it looks looks good, it looks really really good. The eyes, no, not the eyes. The eyes, the lanky proportions, the gang signs. <laughs> they always throwing gang signs and shit, you know. Well, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. Very, very nice. Great job. Barbara looted this. Yo, there he is. But now he's an actual bird. <laughs> Just a little bird chirping around. The Pepsi goes, nah. Nah. <laughs> nay. Behold, the gamer bird in its natural habitat. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, great job. Great job. From Guru, I'm here. Tony the Hawk, Big Sip, Mug Root Bear, Gamer Juice. Uh... Jelly, Jerry, color this in. Thanks. Is that a reference to that Hitman thing? Where there was like a missing description from an item and it's just like, yo, fix, fix up the code, jackass. Based on that one image of the, the cockatiel doing a big sip on the cocktail. Oh, fuck, I love that image! Goddamn unsee. Unsee juice. Ugh. Love that. Well, great job. Beetle hug. Again, doing this and that looks... Really, really, really good. Look at that, huh? I always enjoy the different takes on the Varshroom because mine, mine is so simply, uh, it's like, it's a skull, you know? And to see such a different take on this is just, it's just so rad. It's so rad, you know? But my God, that is, that is phenomenal. That is, that is, that is, that is awesome. Really, really cool style here. The eye and the little like acidy tongue here. That's just, that's just, that's just crazy. That looks really, really, really nice. Hell yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, uh I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a pee pee poo poo move on you right now. Um I'm gonna show one more one more art, and then I'm gonna reserve this half page of art uh for tonight's stream. Which is gonna be something else. Let me just tell you something. Tonight's stream is gonna be something else. Um, but I'm gonna end this stream with one art, and I'm like, what? Which one will it be? And I just have to show you this fucking image from Tori Chibi. It's when I was fucking around with Mario's face on Putin's mask. Here we go. All right, I just. I just had, I just had to show this, because it was bothering the fuck out of me on the thumbnail. I'm like, what is that? What is that? I also love how Torichi re responded uh, to their own art based by saying, "Awful, awful." That, that is what I'm talking about. That, that is how you do art. All right, you just go, awful. Wait, hang on. There we go. Let's do that. Awful. Awful. <laughs> okay. Well, that concludes the stream for tonight. Um, today. Today. Tonight, I will be doing something else. I, there, you know, there might be something returning tonight. You know? I'm saying, you know, I'm saying, you know, who knows? Who knows? But it might be a, might be a little bit of a return to something, huh? I'll let you deduct what it might be. Speculate all you want, I suppose. But for now, uh, thank you for, so much for watching. Uh, I will be gone uh, here in a second. But before I do, you should check out vinesauce.com, twitch.tv slash team slash vinesauce 
for the rest of the Twitch streamers. Uh, right now, uh, right now, let me see what's live. No one is. No one is. <laughs> no one is. Uh, anybody else that I know is live right now? Because I can't check my phone right now. Salty bet. Yeah, but salty bet is like a robot, <laughs> you know. Fecal funny. Oh, Joshimus is live. Shit, Joshimus is live. All right, I'll host Joshimus because I like that guy a lot. Oh, Joshimus is, is a good streamer. All right, well, um, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Tip of the day is. Uh, tip of the day is. Are you making? Are you making? Uh, are you making food? A lot. Well, guess what? You can eat that food. And that food might be yumi yumi. Delish fish. <laughs> I didn't have a tip, so I just made some crap on the spot. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm only. I'm only. I'm only doing bad advice because right now I'm thinking of getting food. So, hey. anyway, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. And tonight, I'll give you a hint. M. Dickey. See you soon. <laughs>